Hi everyone, my name is Firmarai and welcome to another rotation guide video and in this video we're going to be talking about the national deal team I mean specifically how you do the rotation rather and to start things off I just want to say that I think deal is still a very solid character in my opinion he has both great AoE and single target damage He's easy to use and if you really want to be a deal main he's hard to master because of dragon strike stuff like that and I've been using him for like three rotations now and I don't know I've been doing well with him in my opinion he's a very solid character and definitely definitely a very underrated character so okay without further delay let's get started so before I truly, truly begin, I want to show you my team first. So my D-Look. I'm using a 4-star weapon, Slasher. One of his better 4-star weapons, of course. And my d -look stats. Pretty relatable in my opinion. That's an F2P. C0. Balance. My Sing Cho, Zack Sword. Don't, don't use a full Noblesse set, don't be a dumbass like me. C6. My Bennett. Oh, ow. Fab Sword for more energy. You can use a uh, desire just fine. C2 only. Sucrose looks like this. Oh, we don't, don't use thrilling tails. Yeah, on my rotation, you don't want to use thrilling tails. It will be a waste. Sack frag. Stats. And there you go. This is how you do the rotation with the Sucrose Varn. So you start off with Bennett, then use everything on Bennett's skill, then swap to Sucrose. It's either you do a normal attack or a elemental skill. It depends. Just roll the Pyro, swap to Sing Cho, skill into Burst or Burst into Skill. Both are fine, but if you have Sack Sword, especially a Sack Sword with high refinements, I suggest Burst into Elemental Skill. Lastly, use the look, and then with the look you burst, use your burst, and then you do one normal attack into elemental skill, and then you do two normal attacks into elemental skill, do two normal attacks again into elemental skill. Once you do that, you do the normal attacks again. Then once your elemental skill is up of cooldown, you do the N1C. I mean, not N1C. N1 E skill, N1 E skill, and then N1 E skill. Once you do that, the rain swords are gone, and you swap back to Bennett, you know? Rinse and repeat, so I'll be showcasing it to you right now. How I do it. Again, What's Bennett. Super Rose. Big show. You look. Then you do a verbal combo. Then you swap back to Ben. Rinse. Oh shit. Go! Rinse and repeat. Okay? I, I showed it. Now, for the Jolie variant, you kind of similar to the Sucrose one, except you start off with Jolie. Pop your shield. And then swap to Bennett. Skill it to burst. Once you do that, swap back to Jolie. Use his meteor, and then once you use his meteor, you swap to Sing Cho, burst into skill or skill into burst, both are fine. And then once you do that, you swap to Diluc and do the Diluc combo that I mentioned last time. So, okay, let's do it. Jongli first. 
Solidified. Venom. This is all. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your skills. Burn. New look. Then keep whacking him until your elemental skills back up on full down. Then do the standard combo. Normal attack skill, normal attack skill. Once you do that, you just swap back to Zhong Li. Pop his shield. Swap to Bennett. Then if the meteor isn't still up, you just use Sing Cho instead. Then repeat the cycle. Rinse and repeat. Okay. For the recap, for the Sucrose variant, you start off with Bennett, use the skill to burst, and then you swap to Sucrose, use your elemental skill or a normal attack just to swirl the pyro, you swap to Sincho, skill to burst or burst into skill, both are fine, and then you swap to Diluc to use the Diluc combo. And the Diluc combo will look like this you use your burst, do one normal attack, then elemental skill. Then do two normal attacks and elemental skill. And then do another two normal attacks and then elemental skill. Once you do that, you whack him, whack the opponent until your elemental skill is back up off of cooldown. And then once you do that, you do the standard combo wherein you do one normal attack into skill, and one skill, and one skill, and then and one skill. That's the that's the standard combo. Once you do that, you just swap back to Bennett and then rinse and repeat. Now, for the Zhongli variant, you start off with Zhongli. Use his skill, I mean use his shield, then swap to Bennett, skill into burst, then swap to Zhongli for the Meteor, and then swap to Sing Cho. And then once you do that, you swap to Diluc again and do the Diluc combo. So, I hope I managed to help you guys on that one. Sounds a bit confusing, but over time you just you'll just get used to it. So uh, I've been doing some rotation guides for a while now. Since I mean, again, <laughs> I've been doing some rotation guides because I think learning your rotations is the best way to actually improve and clear the abyss or even night star the abyss. That's why I've been asked a lot uh, how, how you know. What should I do to clear abyss, etc., etc., and always say right team comp and right rotation. So there's that. That's why I want to make more rotation guides, and I'll be doing more rotation guides in the future. So anyway, I hope you go you guys enjoyed this one. I hope this video is helpful to you in any form or in any way. And again, it sounds a bit a bit it sounds a bit confusing, but you'll get used to it over time. And Lastly, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and uh, my MVS the Challenge series, I would be uploading an episode tomorrow, hopefully. So, there you go. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.